So there's some news. If you're an investor in the Dubai property market, that's going to be music or good sounds of birds chirping to your ear. Why? Because it's going to translate into more money into your pocket. Okay. It's to do with service charges. Let me share that news with you right now. Show real fast. All right, guys, welcome back. Check this out. One of the things in the Dubai real estate market, which is super critical, is the service charges that you end up paying for maintaining that property, whether you're a landlord renting your property out or you're living in that property yourself. You cannot escape service charges, generally speaking, in the Dubai market. If you want to identify properties that have the lowest service charges ratio to the rent that you can collect look there is a link below hit it click it we'd be more than happy to work with you and get you those best investment opportunities don't forget to hit the like subscribe and bell icon and obviously show us some love in the comment section ask us a question we'll answer you guys listen this is how service charges work you've got a building you've got a building okay essentially speaking or you've got townhouses okay so let's say townhouses or villas okay now to maintain the facade of this building the the common areas the swimming pool the security services the concierge maybe there's valet options all of this is paid for by all the owners that live in that property okay they contribute according to the square footage that they uh, that they own okay so essentially speaking if you own if, if, if the total service charges of a building are a hundred thousand dirhams okay and there are 1,000 people living in that building everybody's going to pay a hundred which then translates to hundred thousand which then goes to maintaining the building how are these service charges decided who decides them are they random are they arbitrary or is there a science behind them? And how does that affect you? And what should you be doing uh, if you're suffering from these? Okay, first of all, the service charges are generally guidelined by the developer, okay? That's the first instance because once the building is completed, the developer is kind of in charge of that building for one year. They can't just actually hand over the apartment. So they give it to Sangha, here's your key, give it to Anu, here's your key live merry have a good time see you later any problems solve it amongst yourselves we're not responsible we're leaving that is not going to work right because what do you know right maybe anu's only using it as a holiday home right and you're just going to come here for a month and don't want the headache to actually manage the corridors and the common areas and this fire spills whatever right so the developer kind of stays in charge okay so they give a guideline on what the service charge should be it could be 11 12 21 45 70 per square foot okay that's aed dirhams per square foot it depends on the area okay so the every area has a guideline okay so there's a guideline on every area this isn't written in stone rita doesn't do this but obviously we already know like the business bay it's going to range from 11 to 18 19 20 dirhams per square foot uh expensive areas like uh, palm jumeirah might be uh or downtown might be approximately i don't know 20 uh, 20 dirhams to 35 dirhams and so on and so forth okay so it's a, it's a very easy thing to know it's not very super complicated but all areas have that certain guideline already in place okay now the actual building the amenities also play a role in what kind of service charges are going to be levied right so if the building has a yoga studio and that yoga studio needs to be maintained with freshly cleaned rubber carpets or so on and so forth or if there are some good cost saving measures that were taken up such as uh, lights that switch off and stuff like that what's going to end up happening is all of that's going to impact the service charges okay how are the service charges decided a board is set up of the owners 
that appoints something called a homeowners association okay the homeowners association's job is to go out there and then find service providers so they will go and they will find okay so what they will do is they will go and they will find a security company that provides security guards they will go and they will find a pool maintenance company okay they will go and they will find an elevator maintenance company like Mitsubishi so on and so forth now what ends up happening and why sometimes service charges have gone kind of gone like way too overboard is essentially speaking the homeowners how can I say this the homeowners association sometimes isn't really scrutinizing why the costs are high and they're not bringing them down the good news is that RERA about five to six years ago I think the pandemic's kind of slowed this process hired four auditor auditing companies four or two auditing companies the big ones and gave them like I think 10 20 to 40 buildings and their service charges to audit and what they found out that bills were being padded some homeowners associations or some developers were not being very upfront so what Rita did as a directive was ask everybody to bring down their service charges by 20 to 25 percent which I have seen in key development areas happening okay when a trend like this starts it's only very very soon that momentum catches up and you're going to find that service charges in Dubai are going to actually come down but what you might not feel because keeping in line with inflation because anything that was like let's say at 11 there was a few years ago if it's at 14 today guys listen there's been inflation so actually it's it's not just staying there it's probably 14 means that it's gone down to 10 okay so because of inflation you might not feel that the service charges are going down but for me that's music to my ears because i can see the dubai rira taking that into account and it's going to bring service charges down at the end of the day though you've got to make a good investment with a good developer where you don't get fleeced and if you want that there is a link below hit it click it talk to us will guide you will give you that analysis that helps you make good solid investments don't forget to hit the like subscribe and bell icon and show us some love in the comment section ciao for now hey guys thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it my name is Fad Daud. i've been doing this for 15 plus years i started in uh, toronto canada in 2006 and since 2007 i've been based in dubai and doing real estate in dubai Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.